So we start a new topic called new chapter called electrochemistry and before we go into that let us try to see what we will be studying in this chapter. So, so electrochemistry electrochemistry has has it all inside the name itself okay. It is the study of chemical reactions of, of spontaneous chemical reactions, spontaneous chemical reactions to produce electricity, to produce electricity <coughs> okay so we'll see that there are certain spontaneous they'll they'll occur on their own chemical reactions which will generate electricity and the use of electricity and the use of electricity to bring about a non spontaneous a non spontaneous chemical reaction okay we'll soon see what it means we'll soon see what what it means and it, and what reactions we are talking about okay now, there are many other processes which actually, which actually come from this electrochemistry. For example, the, the much widespread electroplating that we see, that is, that is due, to, due to the reaction, due, that is due to an electrochemical reaction. Fine? Also, 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 that's a different thing. Also many, many things, also, also many metals, they are extracted with the help of this. So, so very highly reactive metals like sodium, okay, they, they are extracted by the method of, of, of electrochemical reactions, fine. Now, before we try to understand what it all means and how it takes place and how do I do something about it. We will go into a topic that was taught to us in class 11th that is called competitive that is called competitive electron transfer. This is called competitive electron transfer. Okay. Now it's an interesting experiment that we had studied about in class 11. If we if we take a beaker in which I in which I put a zinc strip or a zinc rod okay so so this is zinc and I fill it up with with copper sulfate which is blue in color fine so if i fill it up with copper sulfate so so this is copper sulfate fine 
after some time you will find that the blue the 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 deep blue color of the copper sulfate solution gets dimmed that gets dimmed okay so after after some time you will find find some very very mild mild blue okay and you would also find and you would also find that that some copper has got deposited over this this zinc plate okay so so this is copper deposition over zinc strip okay this still zinc and from deep blue from deep blue this this copper sulfate has become has become faint blue it has become faintly blue okay and if you pass hydrogen sulfide through this okay passing h2s gas through the cuso4 or 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 solution we see that a white zinc sulfide precipitate forms a white zns precipitate forms so what happens it means zinc which was not there earlier in the solution has somehow moved in okay so somehow some zinc has moved in and some copper has moved out okay and if zinc has come into the solution so what has happened somehow it seems that zn has become zn2 plus okay and if copper metal has deposited here and earlier copper was was where where was copper copper was in the solution in the form of of bivalent ions cu2 plus so this cu2 plus has become this okay and 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 this the white zns precipitate tells me that there is zn2 plus in the solution correct now what does this tell us it tells us that somehow somehow you see zn becomes zn2 plus by giving some electrons and copper becomes cu by accepting that electron okay now both are metals okay both have a tendency to to become a positive ion their tendency is to become they are electro positive so their tendency is to donate electrons not to accept it still copper which is such a good conductor has accepted electrons right it has ele accepted electrons zn has donated electrons so yes, correct that cu2 plus is more stable than cu hold on so 
so what has happened is 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 that somehow zn forces cu2 plus to to accept two electrons and become copper metal and gets and that gets deposited here also in the initial phase you will find that this zn that will keep on eroding from the that will keep on eroding from the strip so after after you have you have you 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 take out this and you just see how the zn looks like then zn might the strip only only the zn part of it may look something like like this and after some time since copper deposits over this so you might find a a lot of copper over this as copper starts getting deposited you must understand the corrosion of the zinc from the rod will start getting retarded and a point comes when it is absolutely covered by copper then that corrosion stops and that's where you'll get a steady state color and you'll find no more zinc getting added if you put another strip you'll find this fainter okay this will become fainter and a point may come when it becomes absolutely colorless that means you have extracted all the copper ions from that and all have got deposited onto the zinc rod copper, hmm? copper, is blue. Hmm, hmm, hmm. copper ion is mostly blue not always but yes iron is normally green zinc is white aluminum is also white okay more about that we'll study in coordination compounds but somehow this has happened okay now i try to do something else i try to to set up another experiment where 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 i take a zinc sulfate solution okay so i take a zinc sulfate solution okay and within that i put a copper strip so i put a copper strip in that okay this is copper this is zinc sulfate solution zinc sulfate okay and we let some time elapse we let some time elapse and we see no change has occurred where where so so as as this was earlier it remains the same no change has occurred in both the senses there is no change visible in the solution no change visible on the on the copper strip okay so so this is znso4 fine at t equal to 0 this is steady state at t equal to infinity fine so you wait for sufficiently long time and you find there seems to be no change occurring there okay okay now what has happened what has happened so so maybe we do not believe our eyes so so again we do the same thing we pass h2s gas in the solution and and fail to detect copper ions copper ions in the form of in the form of cupric sulfide 
hmm? in the form of cupric sulfide in the form of cupric sulfide which is C U S black okay now what does that tell me it tells me that the copper here wanted to give some electron to because because it is inherently electropositive it has got excess of electrons that's why it is a conductor okay that's why it is a metal so what happens this wanted to give some electron to to zn2 plus you understand so it it would try to become this and it will try to force this to accept these electrons but somehow both these reactions don't occur understand somehow both these reactions don't happen but the same thing is the same thing when done by this that means when zn wants to hand over its own electrons to the to the copper ion then copper ion somehow accepts those electrons you see zn has given two electrons and copper ion accepts those two electrons to become copper here when copper was trying to give it back then that zinc ion did not accept it had it accepted then zinc would have got deposited on the copper copper would have got eroded and this solution which was white in color would have turned blue we get the point so this is still white correct so in handing over its own electrons to an ion zinc seems to be more powerful than copper okay zinc seems to be more powerful than copper and 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 this reaction copper when when the copper tries to do the same thing it is not able to force zinc to accept the electrons understand okay fine now we set up another another reaction we we put in we put in we we put in we put in copper again copper in in a silver nitrate silver nitrate solution silver nitrate solution okay silver also forms white solution okay so silver nitrate solution and when you look at it after some time if you look at it after some time 